Hi, Mommy. Hi. My mom is here. Are you coming? Hi. <laughs>welcome to another reading vlog it's actually thursday october 15th 2020 usually i start my reading vlogs either on a monday for like a weekly reading vlog until friday or i start on friday and end on sunday for like a weekend reading vlog but this week apparently we're feeling a thursday reading vlog so here we are it's actually 12 40 right now i've been off work for like three hours i work from seven to nine in the morning at a before school program and then I work three to six for the after school program so yeah I've been off for three hours and I actually just finished The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab which like everybody and their mother is reading right now and I put off reading this for so long because I've actually had a ARC copy of it for like the longest time <laughs> and just never picked it up but I finally read it and finished it and I gave it a four out of five stars I've been seeing such like polarized opinions on this book either you give it a one star or you give it a five star I gave it a four star like I really enjoyed it it follows a girl named Addie LaRue who on her wedding night in 1714 she makes a deal with the devil which is basically her requesting more time and he grants her this wish but the only catch is that she won't be remembered by anybody that she interacts with whether it be her parents who have known her her entire life or a barista in a coffee shop that she's meeting for the first time like nobody's gonna remember her so she goes through 300 years of her life not being remembered by anybody so she's feeling very lonely feeling very unloved and then she meets a boy named Henry who happens to remember her after meeting her and it's like their story and like I said four out of five stars I really loved it I think that it was a really beautiful story and I definitely recommend you guys pick it up because like I said I know that there's a lot of polarizing reviews on it but I thought it was really good but moving on to my next read that I'm trying out so recently on my channel I did a try a chapter tag and I had said that I have no idea what book I wanted to read so I wanted you guys to pick and you guys actually chose The Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell so that's what I'm currently reading from the first chapter it sounded really good I was super into it I couldn't decide between three and like I said you guys chose this one it's basically about this girl named Sapphire who goes missing and everybody's trying to find her and secrets come out and blah 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 but I'm on chapter 15 now which is page 79 so I'm not very far into it but I'm really digging it it's told in like alternating perspectives so it's really interesting because you get chapters from Sapphire who's like the missing girl but then also from this man named Owen we're not really sure who Owen is yet but we're also getting chapters from a woman named Claire who is the husband of Rowan which if you watch my try a chapter tag then you know that the first chapter it mentions this person named Rowan who Sapphire met when she was a child and he's like her psychologist and like that's all we know but it was like ominous and like just seems like it's gonna be really good so I don't know if Rowan is the one that like kidnapped her or made her disappear or what I have no idea but so far so good another super like unrelated thing but I'm kind of excited about it because I think it's really cute is that um I got a case for my airpods well Will's airpods my boyfriend he let me borrow his and his whole thing is if we break up then I have to give them back to him so clearly we're just never gonna break up because I don't want to give the airpods back but it's purple and it's got a little pom-pom and a hook on it so that I can hook it to the inside of my work bag because I've just been throwing the case like without anything on it like without a protector on it into my work bag and then I lose it in that bag because it's a mess so now there's like a little mesh pocket in it that I can hook it on and never lose it so that's exciting but I really like it and it matches my shirt in which my boyfriend also gave me so clearly I only have things that my boyfriend gives me so I'm gonna go read this and probably check in with you guys later tonight once I'm off work because that's happening in like two hours but i'll be back at like six and hopefully with an update on this book so bye. what do you want <laughs> oh. will showed up because he's depressed at the world so no readings being done oh yeah blame me for your non-reading <laughs> again yeah because it is your fault no it's not yes, it is. she's just an awful reader vlogger person i read a whole book today yeah actually and half the other book Wow. So it is your fault.
that she's not reading right now, but sorry, you can take two and a half hours out of your life to not read. No. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so I just want to jump on here quick to talk about a company that reached out to me called Mapiful, asking me to receive one of their products. And upon looking at it, I said yes, because it is actually such a cool idea. So I'm going to jump into a screen recording of their website for you guys to check out and see if you're interested in the product. And once the screen recording is done, I'll show you the finished product that came in the mail because it is so freaking cool and I'm so excited about it. About it. So here's the screen recording. This is mapiful.com where I got to choose what poster I wanted. You get to design your own. Uh, there's classic mapiful, star mapiful, zodiac mapiful, and text art mapiful. They had pitched the classic mapiful to me, which is actually a really cool idea. They had pitched it as saying that you could look up anywhere in the world that you wanted and you could base it off of your favorite book and have a map of where your favorite book takes place. So I'm just gonna change it to London England just because it said Paris France which is the first thing that came to my mind but I wanted to show you something different it just pops you into whatever location you look up and then if you go to labels you can actually change the headline divider and tagline that you see there to literally anything you want which I thought was really cool because if you don't want it to say the location if you wanted to say like the place that the book actually takes place in you can do that too you're also able to change the color of your map which is super cool because you can match it to you know the colors of the room that you're gonna hang it up in you're also able to change the theme which is like the way that the border looks which i think is also really freaking cool and then you can also change the size of your poster so you can make it smaller or bigger the price obviously changes based on the size you can also change your orientation to landscape if you want so that is the option that they had pitched to me but upon looking at the website i decided to go with a star map which i am so freaking excited about because i'm giving it to my boyfriend for christmas so hi if you're watching this um will can you turn it off because you just spoiled yourself for your present so that's fun but i figured i would walk you guys through what i did and then show you the final product later basically i picked where he lives in the world and then i picked the date that he actually asked me out i ended up changing the time to some random time because i didn't actually know what time he asked me out because you know i wasn't really paying attention to that but i ended up picking seven three three four just because his favorite number is three my favorite number is four and four plus three is seven so that's what we went with just go with it okay but then you also like the mapiful one are able to change the color of your map i ended up going with asphalt just because his room is very very dark and dreary because he lives in the basement so that's lots of fun you're also able to change the headline divider tagline and the subline i ended up changing the subline to say the beginning of our adventure because it is the day that he asked me out so you know you gotta be cutesy and all that jazz but yeah that's what it ended up looking like and i had it as a portrait but you can also make it as a landscape but i just think that the portrait looks cuter and then fun little thing that i also did was i was able to pick a frame for it to be sent in so i ended up picking a black frame just because his room like i said is super dark so i wanted something that went with his room so that he has no excuse not to hang it up but yeah that was the final product but you can actually pick a date that is significant to you which i think is really cool or you know if you want to go off of the, the book options then you can pick a date that is significant in the book that you're reading so yeah that is the super easy way that you can make your own print there's also the zodiac and the text art but you know i don't really care about those but i'm sure they're cool too but yeah back to uh, my actual face now 
Okay, so now that you guys have watched the screen recording, I can show you the final product, which I am so impressed with. Like, I highly recommend this company to you guys. The shipping was so insanely fast. Like, it took three days to get here from, like, Germany or at least across the seas. The currency was in euros, and I'm pretty sure it's Germany. Could be wrong, but it's far away, and it got here very fast. But this is what the finished product looks like. I... I'm trying to glide it so it doesn't glare for you guys. But yeah, it's like a decently sized picture, which I have dyscalculia, so I don't understand measurements very well. So I honestly did not think that it was going to be this big, but it's like half my body. So it is a decently sized picture and I am absolutely in love with it. And I'm so excited to give it to my boyfriend because I think he's going to really like it. So like I said in the screen recording, I picked this option, but they pitched the Mapiful one because it's more bookish but I like this one so I mean go check out the link in the description box if you guys want to get your own picture Mapiful, Zodiac, Star, Techstar, you know whatever works but thank you so much to Mapiful because I'm actually like obsessed with this and if my boyfriend doesn't like it then I'm keeping it for myself and he can suck it but check out the link because I'm impressed. Hello! Oh gosh. Mommy got a new car. Apparently everyone in our family is getting a new car, except not dad. Dad, we'll get one next year. He's trying to figure trying out to figure how out. to uh, operate it with all the talking and features and ooh, fancy. But we're going to the mall now to go buy things from Bath and Body Works. There's a sale for six for 36, which means I'm going to spend all the money. So yeah, we're going to the mall and I will update you on everything that I purchased because we all know that it's going to be a lot because I have a problem. Did they even bring my wallet? right there oh i didn't see it this, oh, this oh. woman <laughs> so i spent 48 dollars no you spent 50 tax. 50 50 dollars before tax got nine things for 50 dollars from bath and body works that's pretty good i got two shower gels two full body creams two full body sprays two mini like bag hand cream and then one hand what are you sanitizer. To say? What's a mini bag hand? Like a <laughs> and a little tiny hand sanitizer. I don't know where they are. No. This these. They're miniature. So they fit in your bag. You can't bring You absolutely could. Okay, but I don't have room <laughs> in my bag for this. So you get the smaller version of it and you can throw it in your bag. But I had to pick things that don't have nuts flavors nut flavors yeah because i i usually wear the almond one in the fall time is almond but since i'm working out of school you can't have things with nuts i don't know if that counts as like nut no like does the smell of almond well, even though it's like artificial because tar would react to the smell of coconut yeah i have an aunt that's allergic to coconut it is like the smell of coconut she's not really my aunt she's a family friend but we call her aunt tarly Besides the point, the point is I don't want to kill any children, so. It is with your luck that you'll have a kid who's allergic to almonds. Almonds. So I have pink velvet cupcake and marshmallow pumpkin latte or something like that. Did you buy the coffee one? No, I bought the pumpkin latte one. You said I can't smell like coffee. You can smell like whatever you, you want. You said no, so I said fine. Oh, oh and I bought the strawberry pound cake one because I had the cream of it so I bought spray and shower gel in that too. I also picked up Will some hand sanitizer because he's a germaphobe and you know corona and all that jazz. He uh gets really freaked out and uses hand sanitizer every two seconds but I probably won't give it to him until Christmas or his birthday. His birthday is one day after Christmas so I mean it's basically the same day but I'll just throw it into like a stocking for him or something so again Will if you're watching this then stop spoiling yourself on your Christmas presents he doesn't watch my videos so it's okay it's now Friday night at 6.05 I just got off work but I figured I would update you guys on my reading since Will's coming over which means again no reading is gonna be done but I am now on page 285 of The Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. I'm pretty sure I figured it out at like page 130 but I'm thinking that what I think it is is not going to be the thing that it's going to be like the plot twist because it is way too obvious so I'm really hoping that it's not because because like that's really depressing if it's you know that obvious to call 130 pages in to a 300 page book but I'm really enjoying it anyways like it's really entertaining it's a lot of fun so I mean I'm here for it I'm enjoying it it's probably going to be like a four star 3.5 four star I haven't really fully decided 
decided yet. But like I said, Will's on his way over, so reading's not gonna happen. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi. It's now Saturday. It's like 11.45. I'm just waiting for Will to come pick me up because I'm going to his house for the day slash night and we're gonna just like chill because next week I'm probably not gonna see him like at all because he's working afternoons, which is like 3 to 11. So I work in the mornings. He works at night. You know what I'm saying? But I finished... The Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. I ended up giving it a four out of five stars. Remember how I said that I thought I had it all figured out and I was gonna be really disappointed because it was way too obvious what I thought it was, but that's always the way that thrillers are these days. They're all so obvious and I get so disappointed, but this one took a turn. I did not see coming, so I'm very excited about that. I definitely recommend this book. I think that it was a pretty good thriller and it was one that is not like really scary. I know that some people don't like thrillers that are like terrifying. This one was not as it's not like a you can't read it at night because like you're scared kind of thing. I don't know if I would like classify it as like a crime thriller because I don't think that's what it was. It was more like a psychological thriller but not like a huge psychological thriller if that makes any sense at all. Moral of the story, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. But since I finished this one, I moved on to where dreams descend. I don't even know who this is by. Janella Angel. And this is one that Will got me just because he's an angel baby unicorn and bought me a book randomly. Everybody has been talking about this book saying that it's like amazing. All I really know is that it's like a Phantom of the Opera retelling. I'm about 80 pages in right now and I'm obsessed with it already. I love the main character. I love the like sidekick that came in. I seem to like sidekicks way more than the main characters most of the time. I guess because they're like comedic relief and that's what I am in my life so I just feel like a connection to those people you know but I'm loving this I'm gonna keep listening to it until Will comes picks me up he's gonna be here in like 20 minutes so I don't know if this is the end of the vlog because I have no idea if I'm gonna film anything with him but if it is thank you for joining me next week I'll do another one so you guys can hear my thoughts on this because I'm thinking that is probably gonna be like a 4.5 or a 5 out of 5 stars but I will see you all in my next video okay bye